my name is Jacqueline Blanchard. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Littleton, Colorado, and I'm currently teaching English in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I did the online TEFL course through the International TEFL Academy. I have my bachelor's degree from the University of Colorado at Boulder, where I studied English with an emphasis in creative writing and graduated with honors. This is really my first time outside of North America. Um, I went to Nova Scotia about 10 years ago, um, but other than that, my traveling has mostly stayed within the United States, so this was a really big deal to me. I chose to get my TEFL certification through the International TEFL Academy because I read really good reviews about it. Um, it was affordable to me and also I was working a lot so it would have been impossible for me to take off a month and go and do um, an in-class class. So I felt that it was really great that I could do the online certification and have it still be a quality experience. And that's where I work now. Uh, it's called Simeo, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've gotten to, I've worked there for um, about a month and a half, two months, and I've got to work with students ranging, ranging in age of, from um, like four or five years old up through teenagers, which has been a really great experience. Um, most of the students I've worked with have been roughly eight to ten, and um, it's really nice to be able to still use the games, but also have them understand English to a level that you're able to do a little bit more complicated stuff. My TEFL training helped me in my job as a teacher because it, it really went over lesson planning, and I think that having no experience with that before, I felt more comfortable with it having gone over that pretty extensively within my course. Also, it was really helpful to have a lot of games to be able to do and a lot of different activities for different age groups. Um, I did both of the additional courses offered through International TEFL Academy, uh, the business course and the young learners course. And I've worked with students in a business capacity and in a young learners capacity. So I think that it was really useful that I took advantage of everything that they had to offer. But I also wanted to go somewhere very different than the suburbs of Colorado. And I think I probably found some, I, I think that Ho Chi Minh City is extremely different than the suburbs of Colorado. So in that regard, I got exactly what I wanted. Um, I did have a bit of culture shock initially. Uh, like I said before, I hadn't really been outside of North America before. and. This was a huge change, um, but now I feel pretty well situated. I really like my living situation here. Um, the first month that I was here, I worked at, or I lived um, in a homestay situation that I found through Airbnb.com, and um, I did that for a month, and that was a really good experience to really get to know Vietnam. Um, I stayed in District 8, which is pretty much 99% Vietnamese. So there wasn't a lot of English being spoken. The house that I was staying in, uh, only one of the family members spoke English. Um, so it, I, I think that it was good for me to be really thrown in the deep end so that I could uh, really get above water here. And now I feel a lot more comfortable. Perhaps if I had stayed in an area where it was mostly Westerners and I wasn't really interacting with Vietnamese people all the time, um, I would feel less comfortable than I do now. But I think that having lived in District 8 for a month was really a good experience for me. Um, and then I moved to District 1, which is um, more centrally located um, and closer to uh, the Phao Lao area, which is where a lot of people like to go out. Um, in the downtown area, um, I live within walking distance of Simeo, which is nice. Um, and there's also a lot of buses. I take the bus um, a bit. Uh, I've figured out the bus system, which is good. Um, I also take uh, moto taxis. Um, they're called Zeoms here, 
and they're a really good resource. I haven't driven motorbikes on my own yet. I'm a little bit uh, worried about it. Uh, traffic in Vietnam is rather chaotic. The International Tefl Academy was helpful. Um, they helped me with this process through telling me like how I should be approaching schools and they looked over my resume. I completely reformatted it based off of what they said was appropriate and um, what would be more uh, suitable for where I'm teaching. I would recommend Vietnam to someone who was interested in teaching abroad. It's a really friendly and interesting country. Um, it's If you're from the U.S. like I am, it's very, very different than anything that you've experienced in the U.S. Ultimately, I think that it's a really great uh, character building experience. I think that everything that I've encountered here, um, experiences good and bad, have really um, made me feel more comfortable in my ability to do things solo. Um, I came here alone. I didn't know anyone. Um, I didn't have a definite job set up, and this probably sounds insane, <laughs> but it ended up working out. In the end, um, I'm really happy with where everything is, and I'm grateful to the International Temple Academy for their help along the way, and I'm looking forward to the rest of my time here in Vietnam.